Hi, this is Riaz. In this video, I will be explaining about project document, final year project document templates. So if you see many of my students and many of the final year project students, especially from computer science field, or maybe they are struggling to find their exact table of content for their project report or project document. This is not the finalized one. You can still discuss with your supervisor and you can, you can um, amend it or change accordingly. So if you see, uh, I come up with uh, nine points here, major uh, nine, uh, in that seven chapters. First one is introduction chapter, literature review chapter, research methodology, requirement analysis and design, implementation, evaluation, conclusion, appendix, and reference. This is mainly for a computer science student. So if you are a computer science student and undergraduate, uh, it's not a master level or PhD level, it's undergraduate level. If you are a computer science student, undergraduate level, this table of content will help you to prepare your final year project document. Let's start with the introduction. This is the first chapter we, you will be uh, developing in your report so introduction if you talk about introduction these are the major subheading you should follow the first one should be introduction you should introduce your heading whatever they you have in your main heading that should be introduced in your introduction and you can highlight overall little bit on the problem the main aim of your project research project aim of it objective maybe you can have a three to four objective what what is the real uh, output that's going to be then problem statement this is a place many students make a mistake when it comes to problem statement make sure that you put the subheading and highlight the problems if necessary you can give some citation to support your problem scope of the project Research questions, if you have any research question, maybe you can put uh, three research questions. Even if you want, you can map that to the objective or problem statement. Significance of your work, of your research project. Limitation, what is the limitation? At the beginning, you may not be able to get the limitation. You can wait until you finish your project. You can put the limitation of your project. Last is the project document structure how the remaining chapters of your project report is organized so that should be a last chapter so these are the introduction one again this can be vary from university to university even sometime to in the same university different supervisor will have a different point of view on it you can discuss with it but these are the overall content you should have in the introduction chapter let's go to the literature review second chapter in your research or uh, maybe in your final year project, I will strongly recommend you to start with your literature review. That's the place you will get idea for your whole research project. Introduce, uh, or maybe write some chapter introduction. What you are really doing in this chapter? It can be some summary, overall summary of it. What are the things that you are going to do in this? So this will give an understanding for the reader and examiner. So you can write uh, one paragraph. What is this all about? What are the things that you are doing in this chapter? Next, background. So what, how, how you highlighted in introduction, make sure that your main title, your title subheading should be discussed here. Maybe you will have a one subheading, a two or three. In my research, real-time anomaly deduction using big data technology. So real-time anomaly, or maybe a real-time one, uh, anomaly deduction, another one. And third one is a big data technology. These three things should be explained and you should give some relationship between the three. So that that's goes to the background. Then you can have some diagram here to introduce again the three topics. Then related works. For undergraduate level, make sure that you have at least, at least relevant to 20 to 25 papers. Closely relevant to you your research work to support. You can analyze that and you can form tables which comprise of uh, what algorithm they are using, what method they are using, or maybe uh, what technique they have highlighted, what problem they address. So you can form that all into the table. That will give a clear understanding for the reader. From that also you can come up with your own figure, deriving the various uh, go 
once you go through a few papers from that you can you can get some idea on it that goes to the background then related works the two things are very important in your chapter 2 next critical analysis on existing work so what is this critical analysis on existing work this would be a similar system when you when you talk about undergraduate level you may be doing some kind of mobile application or maybe a web portal related to some some analytics or maybe uh, some intelligent involved or maybe some integrated platform try to find similar system that's the place you will show your difference how you different from your audience that's the place you should be very careful to find at least three system don't go for two three years old uh, recommended to uh, check in the 2020 if you are if you are doing research related to so latest one if is maybe one or two years still okay compare them and, and check the difference how other systems are developed other system you can make a table there so that's that goes to the next level then feasibility study here what is this feasibility study programming platform what kind of programming platform you can use in in your final year project to develop this application again you can check that in a related works so that goes to the uh, programming platform development methodology we have quite a number of uh, development methodologies are there waterfall uh, rapid this is this is for the documentation as well as for your development in a second phase of your project if you are doing so make sure that you have this heading sometimes your supervisor will say okay you can have different heading but the overall content will be more over similar to this the last is a conclusion most important thing make sure that your findings each each subheading what is a major finding so what are the related works you found that make sure that you highlight it what programming platform you are going to use it you highlight it so after thoroughly analyzing your chapter 2 your conclusions should give a leads to the chapter 3 and as well as your remaining chapters so where you highlight okay i will be using a, a java programming i will be following a rapid application method and i will be uh, using a x algorithm so you can decide based on your literature you can you can you can say that uh, in a chapter two this is overall about the uh, chapter two let's move on to chapter three research methodology in this place you will be highlighting what kind of uh, data you are going to use what kind of methodology you are going to use these are the one you will be discussing here again you introduce the chapter so some short uh, description or maybe some introduction about your chapter target audience so who is the target audience for this research or this project selected research methodology maybe you can highlight qualitative or quantitative inside that what kind of research design Research design is a place that you will draw some flowchart and you will say, okay, I'm going to use this method. This will be the outcome of this method. You can highlight that in a, in a research design. Data collection. So how you're going to collect data. Uh, some people, they use directly data sets, available data sets for your research. Then results of your pilot study from, from your data collection method. You can highlight some of the results. Address some ethical issues related to your project if it's there. Maybe you can write one or two paragraph, maybe half page or maybe one page, highlight your ethical issues. And lastly, selected development methodology. You can uh, explain, don't explain what is this methodology. Explain how you're going to use. So if you are discussing about example, let's say waterfall requirement, you highlight what software you're going to use to collect the requirement, how many requirements you're going to have, design. Don't explain what is design. Everyone knows what is design. Don't explain what is design. So explain there. Okay, uh, I will be using a smart draw to draw my 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 project design. I will be coming up with the with the use case diagram, class diagram. You highlight that. So these are the overall one you can say in a, uh, chapter three. Uh, one more I forgot here. Conclusion. You can you can add some conclusion to highlight the findings from your research methodology chapters. Next requirement analysis and design. So this is the place what you do. The major requirement that you need to build for your final year project. So introduce a chapter. Uh, give some idea to the reader what is this chapter is all about functional requirement 
try to list the major functional requirement that you need for your project even you can group it uh, different category but don't 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 go too low level like uh, login password so try to have a major requirement some use case diagram entity relationship diagram to show the database class diagram and propose architecture how do you propose your architecture based on your literature review and based on the research methodology you will see how the relevant works are there and what is the exact problem that is faced in a, in a real audience related to your problem then you propose your framework maybe you want to use the cloud platform or maybe you want to use other so all these things should be addressed and you should be aware of it before you come to this stage then experimental setup what are the things that you need to have for your project that goes to experimental setup then conclusion this goes to the chapter 4 next chapter 5 and uh, here mostly you will be showing your uh, screenshot of your uh, system that you develop if you have your uh, sometimes some people they don't they don't uh, agree for this chapter implementation chapter because you will be demoing your work to have some uh, reader understanding in the documentation you can put the most important results with the screenshot and you can have some few explanation there so that will give idea on a, on a your project to the reader or maybe you can put it in appendix most of it and you can you can remove this chapter itself it's up to you and your supervisor depends on the supervisor you can you can do this the next important chapter very very important chapter this is a place you will evaluate your system so this is a place you will evaluate introduce the chapter testing strategy so what kind of testing strategy you're going to use you're going to do a uh, manual testing or automated testing or uh, maybe you want to do unit testing integration testing again there so interface testing so you can come up with some flowchart and explanation for that what kind of testing strategy you want to follow for your evaluation of your system next test cases so once you come up with the testing strategy one of the easiest way to show your functionality is a testing uh, test cases in the under the testing so you can do some manual test cases where you will look for the expected and actual outcome you can look for the uh, manual test cases template then next automated test cases depends on the platform that you use automated test case if you are using a java you can use j unit and you look for the php or maybe a, a something like a php unit out there if you're going for a website related application you have lots of automated tools look for the open source tool that you can use for automated testing and you report the results nicely then evaluation maybe another one will be end user you can show your system to the end user and you can collect the report from them and you can make some graph and 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 uh, show the results that goes to the evaluation the next is a conclusion overall major outcomes how you address your problem here so you can highlight try to link to your introduction chapter problem how this is solved so that's how things should be addressed in your evaluation chapters next conclusion so in the conclusion chapter again you introduce the chapter what what is the thing recap your objective what what are the objective that you discuss in the introduction how you achieve the results of the objective so you can say uh, if you say you want to review xxx maybe a b c d or something so how is the how is the outcome of it what you found after you review then contribution what's your contribution in this research for undergraduate level at least one or two contributions would be there significant then limitation lesson learned so you can highlight some of the interesting thing that you learn in this project you can highlight or more you can add the activities if you attended some hackathon related to your project or maybe conference or you submit some paper you can highlight and future work so these are things should be highlighted in a conclusion lastly appendix so supervisor form some sample of supervisor form or any other relevant uh, document that you want to be attached in there last is reference so these are the nine chapters uh, we can say uh, should be uh, focused on in your final year projects so hope you got some understanding on what are the chapters should be included for your final year undergraduate project wish you all the best thank you
subscribe to my channel for more videos